Uh, why did you wear your high school shirt today? Um, you know, just just to show uh, people back home that you know it doesn't matter where you come from, uh, what high school you go to, you can you can make it. You, know, you just gotta believe in your dream and work hard for it. What was this day overall? Just kind of like you know the, the culmination of everything you've been through, high school, college. Uh. Exciting, nerve-wracking, tiring, uh, everything. Uh, you know, just the work that, that I've put in, that my teammates have put in, that other players around the nation have put in. You know, whether it's for the combine or uh, or for pro day, you know, it all it all comes to this. So, you know, you just go out here and, and, and compete and give it your all. You know, no matter what the times or or whatever it is, you know, you just gotta go out here and compete and, and enjoy it. You know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and uh, I definitely enjoyed it. What was it the feeling like? Maybe walking down before everything started, any like nerves or anything like that? I'll focus. Not, not really nerves, just focus on, on remembering all the all the techniques that I worked on uh, and just trusting it. You know, we put in put in the work. And now it's just time to go out and perform. How'd you feel out there? Um, I feel I felt like I started loosening up more after the 40. Uh, I probably should have warmed up a little more before the 40, but you know it is what it is. You live and you learn. So uh, I think I had a solid day. Uh, obviously, everybody probably feels they can do a little bit better, but you know I feel like I had a solid day. So uh, we'll go from here and see what see what's next. Do you feel like a lot more pressure going through it with not being able to to go with the combine? A little bit, um, but I already knew that, that this was going to be a big day for me. Uh, you know, having the surgery, uh, rehabbing, and not being able to perform in the combine. You know, I knew this was a big day for me. You know, like Hart, Hart got to choose you know, what he wanted to improve on. Uh, other guys got to choose what he wanted to improve on. So with other guys, besides me, we had to do everything. So it was a little more tiring. Uh, legs were a little dead by the end of the position work, but you know, it's, it's part of the grind, part of the process. How do you feel health wise? Um, I feel good. Uh, probably like 90, 95 percent. So that's good enough to come out here and, and, and show the scouts and coaches that, that I'm almost at 100. So, you know, I'm gonna just get back, get back to rehab, get back to working out, and we'll get to 100 percent as soon as I can. So with that being said, with pro day being pushed back a little bit, would you still have been able to perform on the original date, or really this is what got you here and this is a good thing for you to do the 25th of March? Um, perform or actually just work out? Well, to be like if pro day was held originally, would you would you be able to do it? You know, I know I can run like a four nine. Not sure. Uh, probably not. Or, or I would have been limited in, in what I would have been able to do. So having pro day pushed back, uh, that definitely that definitely helped me out a lot. So it serve as a motivator for you to run, or is it obviously helping the chance that you could showcase some of your skills is something that you aim for once you saw that date push back a little bit oh yeah definitely you know once me and my uh my, my guys that i'm working out with uh down at irvine once we saw that the date got pushed back you know we, we knew that okay this is a good thing this is gonna help us out a lot uh and and i feel like um uh, you know we hit our mark we, we did what we needed to do and i came out here and competed everybody likes to talk about projections and things like that obviously after your junior season people had you ranked as high and then you decide you want to come back for your senior year and then you've gone through everything you've gone through when you think about it you know would you do anything differently or, or is everything worked out maybe the way you had hoped for yeah i wouldn't get a hernia if i could do it again nah <laughs> uh no nah, i wouldn't do it different uh i enjoyed my senior year just being with the guys uh you know you can't you can't change that you can't really Go go back to college in a sports atmosphere and enjoy that experience you do. You know, being in the locker room, um, yeah, just just hanging out during the summer when nobody else is here. You know, just just the guys. So I definitely wouldn't wouldn't change it. Uh, you know, I, obviously I would like it to to turn out differently my senior year, but you know it is what it is. Uh, I'll go go to battle with those guys any day. I don't know how much feedback you get, but like this time last year in the winter months last year, mm -hmm. if you were considering. The NFL, like, is it different this time around? Are you hearing any mm -hmm. hearing anything different about kind of what NFL guys think of you? Um, no, I'm trying not to pay too much attention to it. Uh, obviously, I was considering leaving last year, but I uh, made the decision to come back. Um, so I was kind of paying attention to it more, trying to weigh my options and make my decision. But now that I, I can't come back, <laughs> um, I try not to pay attention to it. I just try to work out. And, and, you know, listen to my agent, listen to my parents, uh, and just go for it. What do you think's changed uh, the most in your game? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like I was trying to be more more physical tackler this year. Um, you know, I feel like the ball skills are still there. Some guys might not agree. You know, I just have any interceptions, but you know, uh, opportunities were limited this year. Uh, so, I'm probably just being more physical tackler this year than, than my junior year.